Hey, just want to give a big fat disclaimer before we get into today's video. This is leaked information. If um, anybody from Perfect World or the Tower Fantasy team do want me to take this video down, please contact me directly at tenek 127 at gmail.com or DM me on Twitter. My DMs are open and let me know you would take like me to take this video down instead of striking me. That would be greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and get on into today's topic. Gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another Tower of Fantasy video. And guys, in today's video, of course, we're talking about Tower of Fantasy for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. We have got new tidbits of information on Tower of Fantasy, thanks to the awesome community. Now, the person who hooked me up with this information, they did um did not want their name name mentioned but if they had no end up watching this video dude special thank you we got two awesome tidbits of information about tower fantasy for console that i do want to share with you guys today these are this is specifically for one of these features is specifically for playstation 5 however one feature is also on the ps4 and ps5 the first one is a lot of people have been asking me about region lock with tower of fantasy and it looks like that's actually not going to be the case in a way let me explain so it looks like the servers are actually split between regions so you'll be able to pick which server you want to go like so let's say for example if you're in japan but your friends are playing in north america you can simply pick the north america server or vice versa if you're in if you're in Europe, but your friends are playing in Japan, you can pick the Japanese server and et cetera, et cetera. Here's a picture of the server screen right here. So the community has been able to get into the game for, for you know, those people who have um, pre-ordered. They've been able to preload and stuff like that and start the game up. Some can even create characters and things and things like that and see the menus and stuff. So they've been able to explore all kinds of cool things. Another awesome thing that I've discovered, and this is an exclusive feature strictly for PlayStation 5, is it looks like we're going to have 120 hertz support on PS5. So yes, we'll be able to play Tower of Fantasy at 120 FPS, which is awesome. Now, granted, that's not going to guarantee 120 FPS at all times. Like, let's say heavy traffic things like world boss giant raids and stuff like that. But let's say the FPS goes down a bit, you know, and it's... The game, the game's still trying to get it at 120. It'd be nice, you know, it'll be nice to still see the game holding a solid 60, 70, or 80 during, you know, really taxing situations during the game. I don't know, guys. That part about the frame rate just really got me excited, and I honestly cannot wait to play Tower of Fantasy on console even more. Let me know how, what you guys are thinking and how you're feeling about these features down in the comments below. Anyway, y'all enjoyed today's video? Smash that like button. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.